Well, hello everybody and welcome to Meg's How To Videos where today I received these two items in the mail to do a review video on. So in this video, we will be reviewing the K-Wheats Articulating Borescope model KBA01. Now, if you're interested, feel free to also check out my review video on this K-Wheats brake fluid tester. But with that said, let's start with the unboxing. Now, when it comes to the unboxing, uh, I like to address that uh, whenever a company puts the image of the product on the box, I always feel like it, uh, it makes the product seem more high end or more expensive than what it probably really is, as well as uh, it's, it's more of a overall more professional look to it helps it stand out compared to some of its competitors. So, but with that, let's open up the box. All right, so the first thing I notice comes with a case. So pull the case right out of the box, that's nice. Move the box. All right, so let's open this sucker up. First things first, let's look at the manual. If you want to read it, feel free to pause the video, but I'm gonna flip through this really quick. So. All right, next, let's see what we got here. We've got a USB to USB-C charging cable. So that's nice. And that thing's actually, uh, looks to be pretty long. Yeah, let's see, it's like a three foot cable. Oh yeah, it's definitely a three foot cable. That's nice. All right, next, what we got in this little thing? Oh, looks like we got little adapters for the ends, like a little magnet and a hook. Let's open that up. There. Okay, it's not screws, it's pull. Alright, so we got a a mirror end, a magnet end, a hook end, and a little cap. I'm guessing that's just to help protect the, the lens. So Cool. All righty. Well, we're all, all right. The moment we've all been waiting for, the actual bore scope. So it's got a nice size screen. Put my hand next to it. There you go. This is the part that articulates camera actually uh, doesn't have too much resistance so it does rotate pretty smoothly but uh, yeah there she is all right so what are some reasons that you'd probably want to have a bore scope well if you end up losing something in a very tight spot uh, it comes in handy being able to visually look through and see if you can locate the item uh, a good example of this is whenever you tend to like lose jewelry uh, down a sink. Oh my goodness, it just went down the drain. Now you gotta figure out how you're gonna fish it out. Now you can try grabbing like a pair of mechanical fingers or a magnet or a stick or something or a hanger and try to shove it down there to try to fish it out. But why do that when you can literally visually see where that ring went down the drain. Looks like it's right there. I sort of see a shiny thing right on there. It's not the clear thing because of the murky water, but uh, oh, there's the ring. You can see it. So now I'm going to pull this out of the drain. Now this comes with some attachments. You can either use this little hook attachment to try to hook the ring. 
but this is a steel ring, so I'm able to use the magnet attachment to get it. So I'm gonna screw this on, and I'm gonna send her back down the drain. So let's see. Oh, you can see I caught the ring, and I'm gonna try to fish her right back out. And there we go. So when it came to the bore scope, you can see it recovered the ring with no problem. But besides recovering items, you can also use it to inspect areas that you wouldn't normally be able to see. For example, I used it to look underneath the couch here to help locate our runaway guinea pig. There you are, Winston. I found you. Or I used it to locate this coolant sensor that was on the backside of an engine that was in a very tight and hidden area. Besides that, I was also able to use it to inspect parts of that engine that I normally would not be able to see. With that said, hopefully you're able to see how important or how beneficial having a bore scope could be. Well, there you have it. Now that we're all done testing out this bore scope, it's time for my favorite part of the review video, and that is the actual review. So I'll be rating this product on a one to five scale, one being the worst, five being the best, over four different categories. All right, so the first category is appearance. And honestly, this thing sort of got a elongated, uh, awkward looking shape to it, but it's not so bad. Cause compared to the other ones, it's usually just a rectangle, but this thing's got a nice handle that fits pretty comfortably in one hand and is easy to operate with one hand. And that's what you need, right? So awkward, you know, shape aside, it's not bad. Uh, because of that elongated uh, design, it does take up a little more space in your drawer. So that is one thing to consider since it's not as compact. But uh, overall, things are nice. So I would have to give it a 4 out of 5 for appearance. The next category is features. And this thing is cram-packed full of features. So if I don't list them all, I'm sorry. I'm going to try my best. The first thing to uh, address is, of course, the large 4.3 inch high definition 1080p screen. And this thing is pretty well backlit. It is attached to a one and a half meter or just slightly under five foot long flexible cable. And it has a eight millimeter diameter wide angle lens. Attached to the lens is an articulation device or two way articulation device, which allows you to rotate the camera 180 degrees in either direction, giving you the capability of a 360 degree view range. There is also an LED ring around the camera that's got three dims and settings, as well as a threaded end so that you can add attachments like a hook, magnet, or even a mirror like what it comes with. It does have zoom capability, so it has a view range of two to 10 centimeters, which is nice. And it has the capability of taking pictures as well as recording video and audio. So yes, this thing does have a microphone attached to it. It comes equipped with a standard 32 gig micro SD card, which you can upgrade the capacity if need be. Uh, lastly, it has USB-C charging capability, which means this thing does have rechargeable batteries and the battery charge life is about three and a half hours, which is not bad. Overall, uh, the thing is waterproof up to the end of the cable. I don't believe the camera itself is, so that is one thing to keep in mind, but the camera lens portion is waterproof. With all that said, there is so much cram packed in this thing. Uh, compared to some of my other borescopes I've used in the past, this thing definitely outpaces them. One thing, uh, well, I guess a few things I would suggest to maybe improve this product. Uh, since this is a two-way articulation device, I'm sure you're not going to want to upgrade it to a four-way. So one thing that you could do is add a side mount camera. So you can, on the side that does not articulate, so that you have the extra view uh, range. And all you have to do is just have it set up so that you can like change between the camera view um, in the settings. Uh, as well as add a side light, but that'd be nice. You could also decrease the diameter of the camera cable and lens so that it can fit in smaller areas. But uh, those are two big changes that uh, probably would take quite a bit to, you know, to actually do. And at that point, you practically have another product that you could sell. So one 
uh, change that you could do that honestly would only cost pennies is upgrade the lens protection cap that comes with it, okay? Add like a glass disc and a seal to it so that you can tighten it on there, has a waterproof seal, and it protects the actual lens from getting scratched or chipped or, you know, anything like that. Or even, I guess, debris getting caught up in there. It should prolong the life of this device because if you were to scratch the actual camera lens, well, guess what? That's a part of the actual device and now you'd have to get a whole new one to fix that. Versus if you have a little lens cap that screws on there and you scratch that, you could just purchase a new one for maybe, you know, uh, a few cents or something like that. Or you could have it come equipped with like three or four or five of those so that you can just change them out whenever it need be. And then you don't have to buy a whole new camera. So again, and it would only cost a few cents to make or add. So I definitely recommend doing that. But with that said, I would definitely give it a four out of five for features. The next category is price. And currently online, this thing is listed for just under 120 USD, which uh, honestly compared to its competitors is right in that lower middle range for price. And I mean, I don't know what the other competitors have for features, but based off of what you're getting, it's definitely worth that price, all right? Uh, I look at uh, some of the higher end ones I've worked with and they don't even have as many features. Like the Snap-on one I have at work that was almost like $1,000. We just recently replaced the camera on that thing so it's like it's brand new and this thing outpaced to that. So I would definitely give it a four out of five for price. Which brings us to our last and most important category and that is performance. How well did this borescope do? And I mean, look through the test footage. It did its job. All right, it was able to fit down the sink and recover the ring. It was able to uh, search underneath the couch to find the guinea pig and articulation work. Uh, it was a little tricky to get used to, but once you figure it out, it's not bad. As well as it recorded video, audio, and took pictures. And so overall, it did what it needed to do, okay? It helped me locate that electrical connector on the back side of the engine. So really, what else do you really need if it does its job? So with that said, uh, the only thing that I would suggest improving on is maybe the picture quality. Like it's not the screen, but I don't know if you need to upgrade the camera lens or something. It was still a little blurry. Um, again, compared to that Snap-on one at work, the, even the picture quality was better than that one. So I can't really knock it too much, but that is something that you could potentially work on improving. So with that said, I would definitely give it a four out of five for performance, which brings us to an overall score of four out of five. So that is not bad whatsoever. I would definitely recommend this product uh, to anyone who is interested in looking for a bore scope. So if you're interested and want to purchase one of these, uh, feel free to use my discount code as well as find, you'll find my uh, affiliate link down in the description below. But with that said, if you enjoyed this video, please click on the like button below that and subscribe to my channel to see more how to or review videos. If this video helped you out or even an idea for another video, please let me know in the comments below. I love reading them, but uh, until next time, God bless and good luck.